All right, hello everyone, and welcome to We Happy Few, which is the game I've decided to play on the channel while we're on our quick little break from Fallout 4. Up until, of course, the Nuka World DLC, then we'll be right back to that, but in the meantime, I saw this pop up on Steam and thought to myself, how fortuitous, because of course, well, I needed a game to play, and this is a game I've been wanting to play for quite some time. Now, I haven't really kept too much of tabs on it. I probably haven't read anything about it in maybe two months or so, but I saw it pop up on Steam earlier today, and well, here we are. So this is gonna be hopefully quite fun. I'm excited because, well, we're going from post-apocalyptic future to dystopian alternate past, which I think is quite cool, and I like the idea of the whole, you know, alternate dystopian society where everyone's taking their joy pills to stay happy. I, I find that intriguing. So I'm hoping it'll be a fun game. Now, I am a little bit disappointed that it is early access because it is, as you can see here, a gameplay alpha at the moment. And until the game releases, it doesn't have a story. It's just going to be basically the sandbox survival mode for the game, which I hope will still be fun. But, you know, I was really, really wanting to see the story of all of this world. So I hope we still get little bits and bobs of lore. I think that'd be fun. But we'll we'll see. Let's at least uh, give the sandbox a go and start a new game. Hopefully it will go nicely for us. I clicked that, right? There we go. Seem to need to be clicked twice. So we have two options here, apparently. Second win puts the player in a dying state when their health reaches zero instead of dying instantly. Ooh, I like that. We'll go with that. And permadeath. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Guys, I kind of want to turn this off, but at the same time, I kind of want to leave it on. <laughs> you know what? We'll try it with permadeath, see how it goes, and then maybe we'll turn it off if I'm so horrible at this game that we just keep dying over and over. So let's accept for now. And yeah, hope that this all turns out okay. Now I jumped in the game just for a quick like couple of seconds just to test out my uh, graphic settings. So sadly, there's nothing more to this. When I first saw this, I thought it would be like a silent film maybe to give us a little bit of lore, but no, it is just happy is the country with no past. And I disagree completely with this statement. History is what makes your country great and or terrible. One of the two. So let's just hit spacebar to continue and go right into the game where we are redacting things. Lovely. <laughs> oh, that's going to be one hell of a boring job. But apparently Mrs. E.W. Bower wins garden prize. And who wouldn't love that? Okay, so that was approved. Excellent. And now we're at the point where I no longer know what's happening. <laughs> that was literally as far as I got just to test my graphic settings. And no swimming in the river? <gasps> heavens no. Oh, heavens no. Toxic chemicals. Apparently we can't let the people know about that. No, we are redacting it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess the happy pills aren't enough. We also have to control the news, etc. Uh, Hastings Brothers win Scrap Gathering Prize. Oh, oh, we're having some sort of a uh, flashback or something. Oh, are we Arthur? Oh, it's 64. Cool. When life annoys, top up your joy. Okay. Take the joy. Take the joy. <laughs> Uh, now sadly, this is something that's already been spoiled for me. Whoa, oh, no. Should he take the joy? But yes, as I was saying, sadly, this is something that was already spoiled for me. I was really trying to avoid spoilers for the game because, well, like I said, I want to know. But sadly, it was unavoidable. Every freaking news article today that I saw while I was at work just said, Oh, wow, you can beat the game in like the first 30 seconds if you just take your joy. And so, of course, I have to see how this goes, so let's just go ahead and take the joy and finish the game. <laughs> and then we'll not take the joy. Happiness is a choice. Is happiness a choice, though? Oh, God, everything got really bright and colorful. Oh, we redacted what I assume is our brother. What was that? Snug as a bug on a drug? <laughs> Oh my god, that's a wonderful sentence. And yes, there we go. We beat the game. 
<laughs> okay, let's hit escape and do that again. I do like when games do that. It amuses me. Like uh, in Far Cry 4, when you can just wait for Min to come back. <laughs> and you beat the game. Oh, it was wonderful. Okay, space bar to continue. And please tell me we don't have to sit through all the redaction again. Oh, God, we have to sit through all the redaction again. Oh, no. Can we skip? Ah, yes, hold backspace to skip. Lovely. And we're to the joy. So, of course, now we're going to remember who I assume is our brother. And our name is Arthur, I think. Is there? Yes, the sign is over there. Beautiful. I was hoping I could see, like, a placard or something. And there we go. Right on the right. Employee of the year. Ooh, good on you. Wait, Department of Archives, Recycling, and Printing? That sounds like a boring place to work in. Granted, I've actually worked as an archivist before, but that's beside the point. Let's remember and not take the joy. <laughs> okay. Oh, and throw the pills into... What the Percy. hell? That, that waste basket, basket looked like a Dalek. Oh, I probably should have been reading that while our hands were up against our face. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Yep, that is a Dalek trash can. <laughs> oh, and apparently now we're staring off into space. No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door? Since She's right, there was no whooshing. Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Ooh, pinata. <gasps> oh no, she found the pill. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? Oh no, 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 no. Snug as a bug on a drug. God, I love that sentence. <laughs> Snug as a bug on a drug. I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. She took my joy. Oh, that is a creepy, creepy grin. The power cell's empty. Oh no. What will you do? Well, I'm guessing. Get a new one? Yes, get a new one. There we go. Lovely. Uh Oh, oh stand up with E. Okay. And she ate my joy. Uh, let's see. Can we interact with anything here? I'm assuming that the that's the energy cell over there. But I'm wondering if we have anything else. Wellington Wells. Hmm. So yeah, archives, recycling, and printing, huh? Nice. Nice. That clock seems to be fast. I don't know. No, can't interact with that. No, oh, I can't get my joy back out of the Dalek trash can. Seriously, though, that looks like some Dalekanium things on the side of a Dalek. <laughs> oh, I need to watch some more Doctor Who. I haven't watched any in a while. Oh, I can't interact with any I of this. Had oh. breakfast or lunch, so I'm really looking forward to a slice of real cake. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, fine. I'll get back to work so we can get the cake. All right, back to the rest. A uh, redactor. Okay, so let's see this. Hastings brothers win scrap gathering prize. Percival and Arthur Hastings were the surprise winners of the scrap drive. Arthur told the judge that his brother has a photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in the garden district. Percival himself rarely speaks to strangers, apparently. The scrap will be melted down to be used to support the war effort against the Soviet Union, which, by all reports, is going splendidly. Hmm, interesting. The brothers brought in a record of 1,654 pounds of scrap. Holy mother of crap, that's a lot. <laughs> Winning them a 50-pound victory against communism bond. Uh, the second prize went to Alan Unwin, who brought in 315. Suck it, Unwin. You got owned. <laughs> All right, well, clearly we are going to accept this document because it's of our brother. And accept. we brothers. I'll always look after you. you know there you that. go. Good Lord, Arthur. Say what? what are we here for if not to clean up the late great unpleasantness? How did she know? How does she know? Exactly. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't oh, dawdle. Okay, fine. You I will dawdle as much as I want, lady. Oh, though the oh, pinata sounds fun. Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I don't know. Oh, a welcome back card. Oh, did you? Is it on the desk somewhere? 
I don't know, we got another thing, though. Uh, General Bing clarifies registration procedure. General Robert Bing, the municipal liaison to the Occupation Authority, appeared on Parade Street last night to speak to a crowd of citizens, urgently requesting clarification of the new child registration rule. As most Wellingtonians know by now, all children who will be under the age of 13 by July 22nd must be registered with the Authority General, Bing classified... Or clarified, rather, that the deadline for registration is next Thursday. He refused to speculate on the rationale for the registration regulation. That could be a tongue twister. Registration regulation. Hmm, nice. I cannot illuminate uh, the regulation any further because Colonel von Stufenberg... Oh, uh, they were invaded. <laughs> has not informed me of its purpose, uh, stated the general, I imagine, and hope that it has something to do with maintaining nutrition for our growing children in this time of scarcity. But the... OA? I have no idea what that is. Have not... Hmm... I'm trying to figure out what OA means. Have not told me so explicitly. He reminded the crowd that the occupation has so far... Oh yeah, we were invaded. Has so far been extraordinarily orderly and peaceful. Well, of course, they're British. They queued. Uh, and these that citizens continued obedience to legal orders of the OA is uh, crucial to maintaining goodwill with the visiting. Continued on page 15. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's sad that the British were invaded in World War II. Unfortunately, okay, um, oh god, what was the OA? <gasps> Occupation Authority, it was over on the first column. <laughs> well, clearly we're keeping this. Honestly, I'm gonna keep all of them. I just wanna know what the things are. <laughs> okay, we, oh, one more. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got? Drug trials, a qualified success, says Sir Robert. Oh, oh God, why are you moving things? I can't read when it's that far out. There we go. The first round of trials of a new anti-melancholic medication have been a qualified success, stated Dr. Alexander Kroos, acting head of the Melancholial Studies Laboratory at the Royal Victoria Hospital. The drug reduced melancholic feelings in 28 out of 30 despondent rats over a 20-day period. What happened to the other ones, though? What happened to the others? Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electric shocks. Despondent rats take up twice as long to navigate a maze after administration of the drug. Previously, despondent rats gained up to 50% of their navigation speed before administration of the shock, stated Dr. Gross. The drug has now been tested in human volunteer citizens who wish to apply as a potential volunteer. There's already a waiting list. Can do so at the Royal Victoria Hospital. Okay, well, except... All right, excellent. So we're getting a bit of lore here there. That's nice. So they were indeed invaded in World War II. I'm going to take the power cell because, I don't know, I feel like I should. <laughs> Let's stand up. Okay, now can I actually interact with anything? No, just the... Really? It's called a restoration machine? It's a redactor, for God's sakes. Why would they call it a restoration? Maybe in their weird world that is restoration. Uh, hiding the truth, and so yes, they were invaded, and then I guess to what? Keep the the people passive? They made the drug? Or something? I don't know. Ooh, cool building outside. Oh, oh, I see the ether over there. <laughs> that is where the world ends. Lovely. Okay, yeah, I can't seem to interact with anything still, unfortunately. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? I don't know. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. It would, though. It would. I'll also, break it for everybody. Uh, okay. Also, did my subtitles get turned off? I could have sworn I turned them on. Audio. Yeah, show subtitles, but it did not show it just then. Odd. Interesting. Well, that is... <laughs> the Internetwork. A series of tubes. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. Can we go in? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hello, Clive Birtwistle. You have a paper there. Clive Birtwistle. Oh, there's my subtitles. You're off at the party, aren't you? <gasps> Shock, he's at the party. What's this? Business letter. Oh, oh god, we have a menu thing. <laughs> okay, lore found. Uh, dear Mr. Bristle Whistle. Or Bert. <laughs> Bristle with no. Bert Whistle, but for now on, he is Bristle Whistle. 
<laughs> it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I'm afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Damn right it would. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face whether you have a window or or not. Ah, so that's what he wants, a window, huh? Okay. Oh, I can understand why he would want one. This is a very dingy room. Why does he have a restricted area, huh? Okay. Well, he got angry. Uh, nothing I can interact with. We have another Dalek trash can there. <gasps> cricket bat. I want the cricket bat. Why can't I have the cricket bat? Oh, ooh, I'm going to take your energy cell, too. Nice. Scrap of paper. Ooh, another thing. Anonymous letter was added to your journal. I found an anonymous letter in Clive's office. Shit. He wants my view. Oh, well, I kind of figured that out from the last one, but apparently this one's more, I don't know, grading or something. One of your employees is a subversive. <gasps> He's calling us a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly. Well, that kind of is. And what's so scary about the truth? Exactly. He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. Okay. I know I should have asked his name, but I am naturally shy woman. Oh, this is a woman in here? Okay. I thought it was a guy. From... Because didn't he say that... Well, no, he was very gender nonspecific with that, isn't he? just called him a little shit. Okay, anything else I can steal in here? Can I screw up his desk? Can I take his joy? No? I can sit. Can I do anything here? Oh, no. No, oh, I really wanted to take his joy. <laughs> All right. So, oh, holy mother of crap. Ha. Huh. Um. Yeah, can I mess up his room somehow? He really doesn't like me. Damn. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, nice of them to put their game company right in there. Compulsion Games! Uh, yeah, can't grab anything else. Oh, God, I want that. some of the bottles up there. It'd be nice. All right, oh, that's the internet work. What do I got here? Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Hmm. Ooh. It just got, just got weird in here. <laughs> we have a tipped over Dalek. Oh, no, it fell! <laughs> oh, that's all disgusting. Anything else in here? Take the empty power cell? I don't know. Maybe it's useful. Ew. Uh, no, we can only seem to use their machines. Hmm. Oh, oh. Examine pictures. Back, you, Prue. But where did she go? Canada, apparently, maybe? <laughs> According to this one? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Well, fair enough. What do we got in here? Ooh, ooh. Hello? Did you take your joy, though? And he's been stabbed. Oh, or injected, rather. Hi. Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, hello, creepy person. No, you, you don't want to talk? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, this way we go. To the central processing unit. <laughs> so we got the internetwork over there, the series of tubes, and we have the central processing unit here, the CPU of the this whole establishment. I like it. I like it. Anything else I can steal in here? I'm not finding a lot I can interact with, which is unfortunate. I was really hoping we'd have more, but perhaps that's just because this is an intro sequence and we're just supposed to actually be getting story bits. Oh, hello, giant wall projection. Okay. You creep me the hell out. <laughs> All right, yeah, it doesn't look like anything else we can steal in here. Huh. We should fix that. You really should. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Ooh, can we open this? No. Out for lunch. The elevator is out for lunch. What the hell does it eat? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that does not seem like the most efficient system. 
Okay, well, in we go. Oh, the pinata, which sounds squishy. You nearly missed the pinata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You oh. smash it until all the candy comes out. Come okay. on, hit it. Hit it. Oh, I think I saw hit this it. bit in like a trailer or something. Okay. And yep, I'm covered in blood. Yep, saw this bit in the trailer. <laughs> and dead rat. Ew. Ew. No, no. I mean. Oh my lord, he's a downer. A downer? Oh no. Aw, oh, go back and grab her riding crop. That'd be, you know, a fun weapon for sexy good times. <laughs> probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Yes, yes, it probably is. Ooh, we can climb. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, there we go. See the crouch. Lovely. I should probably change that con to control. That'd work a lot better for me. Oh, well, remember to do that for the next video. Oh, can I screw with the with the internet work? The series of tubes? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Oh, hi! Oh, God, run. And I've fallen down the stairs. Oh, great. I am not in control. I... Oh, in a tunnel. How the hell we get here? No, don't have me. Oh, pipe. Oh, and I'm out. Ooh. Man, that was dirty. Kicking me straight to the face when I'm down like that? Huh... All right. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, so we're a down we're a downer now. Be sure to observe the rules of their society while in Wellington Wells. Okay. Oh god, my frame rate's just dropped by like 20. Why? We're in a loading screen. <laughs> Good Christ. Wellington Underground. Alive. More or less. Ow. Feels like I lost an argument with a train. You may have. I can't go back. I've got to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I am in. Oh, hello. Oh, yes? But at three, I hope you'll all take a quick break for our daily recreational activity. No. Okay, so we got, we're, we're in a subway or underground thing. The hell we got in here? Let's search around for stuff. I don't have a flashlight, do I? So that's hold to exit safe house. Oh, we have a safe house. Oh, lovely. Search maintenance locked. Oh, God. By crafting a basic lock pick. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. Well, we're going to take all that alcohol, dirty bandages, and bandage. First aid kit is now available in my journal. Oh. Oh, here's the crafting element I read about. <laughs> So healing bomb with Gilead petal, first aid kit with bandage and healing bomb. We can make a pointy stick <laughs> with a branch and a rock. And metal bits to make a basic lock pick. Dirty bend. Oh god, I'm thirst. Oh, come on, really? When I'm in the menu, that stuff goes down. Uh god, that's gonna annoy me. I gotta admit, guys, I'm not usually one who likes this sort of survival mechanic because typically it just adds an annoyance to the game. But, I mean, okay, let's, let's move, let's see how it goes, let's see how it goes. Uh, canned grapefruit juice, that is not a can, that is clearly a bottle. We can sleep, so we gotta worry about that too, I assume. That's a hanged woman! Okay, that is... Oh boy, alright, we got a stash here. Ooh, pointy stick, oh, awesome. Well, taking all. Rock. Ooh, got more thing. Caltrops. Whoa. Metal bits. Basic lockpick. Oh, we can make that. Craft. We can get that one thing open. We can make an enhanced rock. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll go for an enhanced rock. I mean, that works. Oh, we already got the... Oh, no, no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, now we have... Hold V to lockpick. Beautiful. Oh, look at all the bits. Nexamide pills, metal bits, jimmy bar, cloth, strange meat. 
Well, we're taking it all. The hell is strange meat? Tastes a bit like pork. What? It's gonna be human, isn't it? Oh, Lord. Enhanced rock. <laughs> that amuses me. All right, we have a pointy stick. We've already equipped it, apparently. Uh, window locked from the inside. No problem. We got that. Cool. Inventory expansion kit. How do we use that? Oh, does it go down here? Ah, it does. What'd that do, though? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> F? That did nothing. We consumed it! <laughs> oh! Oh, we did! It opened up another row! Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank God. I thought we just lost it. <laughs> okay, we got some jerky, filtered water. Okay, okay. Anything else around here? Anything on top of this desk that I'm missing? I wish I had a flashlight. Do I have a flashlight? No. All right, let's check out the dead woman. Who? Maintenance door. Okay, we'll Blimey. check that out. Too. It's Mrs. Stokes. Mrs. Stokes? Oh no! Who the hell is Mrs. Stokes? Oh god, we have le we have letters. All right, tab view. My memories are all coming back. It's horrible. I try to think only about nice things, but whenever I walk around these old streets, I can see her running up and down. Does she remember me? Do you think she was so young, practicing her bitter? Donkshuns? Don Donkashuns. Donkashun. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> Donkashun. <laughs> okay, I wonder where they took her and why she stopped writing. I try to think that's what Stanley would say, but he's no use at all. He never was. I don't know how much longer I can stand all this, and that water is going down much faster than I would like. Yep, the survival element's gonna annoy me. Okay, my memories are all coming back. It's horrible. Wait, we... Oh, was it just more? Yeah. There is that hatch on Apple Home. If only I could flee to the mainland. There must be some people out there. Otherwise, did we trade for food with all those years? But the bridge is in the parade district. Okay, so that's our goal to get out. I suppose there is that subway hatch Stanley was always nattering on about. Oh, God, we need things. Uh, on Apple Home, Stanley said one of his mates had a boat in there. It could row to the parade, he said. That ridiculous man, always talking rubbish. They've been dumping poison on Apple Home for years. The fumes would kill you in half a minute. Why on earth did I marry such an idiot? I miss him so. Yeah, that water is going down annoyingly quick. Search the body. And empty. Damn it, Mrs. Stokes. And it looks like she's gone off her rocker. Ha! <laughs> Oh, we're awful. <laughs> okay, okay, well, yep, yep, okay, let's, uh, should we perhaps stash some things for future? Nah, we got inventory space, where does this go to? I Broken! Done a lovely job of breaking this door. I suppose I won't be getting out that way. Why does this voice sound different, then? <laughs> okay, noted. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's it for in here. I guess we should go out into the world, or we would in the next episode. Or we will in the next episode. We're 20 freaking minutes now. I just looked at my timer. Holy crap. We've been going for a lot longer than I expected. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I am intrigued to see how this all goes. I am already annoyed by the survival mechanics because that water is going down way too freaking fast. That's why I always hate survival mechanics because... The human body can go for freaking days without food and water, weeks without sleep, and yet in a video game, it can't even go a day before you're dead. And it just, it, it makes it more of an annoyance than anything to me, but we'll, we'll give it a go, see how it, you know, works for us. Maybe it's not too bad. Maybe we find plenty of things out there to satiate ourselves. But for the time being, that is going to have to be it. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.